Hi, this is David with the Discount Dragon, and today I'm here to talk to you about a new art idea. I haven't really developed it that fully myself, uh, but more than that, I'd like to talk about sharing uh, art processes and ideas with other people. Uh, generally, my philosophy is to let other people know how you do stuff and what your processes are and so forth in most cases. Because if you are too scared to share your processes, you're just not doing a good enough job. You need to be able to compete in the marketplace. And if you're not even willing to allow other people into the marketplace, then you're just not confident in your skills or your product. Uh, a while back, I asked somebody who cast pewter where they bought their pewter. Um, and the reason I was asking is because I buy my pewter from <laughs> Rio Grande Jewelry Supply. And this is what I buy. This is about a five pound block. The current price on it is anywhere from $110 to $150. The reason I was asking that person is because I know there's a lot more expensive places to buy it. And if they weren't aware that you could get it in a decent, at a decent price and a high quality from Rio Grande, I was going to pass along the information. But they acted like I was trying to pry family secrets out of them as to where they bought their pewter, and they were just really upset about it. So that conversation went nowhere. Uh, so I just think that's an unreasonable way to run things. If I've got a process, I mean, unless it's something really <laughs> secret, I, I'm going to share pretty much everything with other people and allow them to compete in the same marketplace of creativity that I've got. So what I'm going to share today is a concept for making polymer clay sculptures that light up. And no guarantees that somebody hasn't already thought of this. I have no idea. Maybe somebody else is already using this. Uh, a while ago, I noticed that when you take a laser pointer like this and point it at certain minerals, that it causes the entire mineral to glow. In other words, instead of just like hitting it and one little part glowing, the whole thing kind of lights up. And it's a really cool effect. And I was wondering if you could make use of that with polymer clay, and it turns out you can, at least to some degree. So, here's what you get. What we have here is a polymer clay sphere that is a translucent polymer clay on the interior. You can see here I cut through. And then on the exterior I just have a layer of black polymer clay. So the translucent polymer clay diffuses the laser beam, which is more interesting than you would think. So. With no further ado, up close, you get an effect like that. It's a relatively evenly distributed red glowy effect, and you get the sort of crepuscular, uh, kind of grainy laser effect that's pretty interesting. So you could use that to light up a sculpture. Yeah, not, not, not that surprising that you could do that. The cool part is. If you wanted to have a sculpture, say, suspended, and didn't want to have battery cables or batteries or whatever attached to it, what you could do is, since you're dealing with a laser, is have the laser like in, the, in a frame or on the base of the sculpture, have your actual work piece up here, and I'm going to have to come over here to make sure it lines up, but let's see. You see, you got it glowing there, but as you pull it up, the laser can still hit it and cause it to glow. So that would allow you to have a glowing piece just kind of floating in the air and glowing without having to have light source incorporated into the piece or a power source or anything else. You could just have like a little fairy or an angel perhaps suspended in the air, like hanging by a monofilament or something like that and then take your laser source and have it at a distance and use it to light up the piece. 
either in whole or in part, and you just, as long as you have everything lined up, so, uh, is it, I don't know if it's showing, <laughs> as, there no. as, as long as you have everything lined yeah, up properly, fine. you're going to get the glowing effect even if you have the laser source at a considerable distance. So, it's just a cool concept for glowing polymer clay sculptures that I thought I'd share with all you guys so you could experiment with it too. Or I could hoard it like gold and not share it with anyone because it's my secret. No. Uh, <laughs> secret. Secret. The precious. The precious. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. No. I think I'll just share my ideas and let everybody play with it. <laughs> so go out there and if you like the idea, uh, have some fun with it. Uh, until next time, this is David with the Discount Dragon. And I hope this helped somebody out there. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.